Good morning, Hutchison family. Can you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for 10 seconds of silent reflection and the Hutchison School Pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As I pass through the door of Hutchison each day, I will strive to do my best in every way. I'm committed to excellence and nothing less because my education is the key to my success. I respect my school and those that teach and guide me. I respect myself and those who sit beside me. I will always do my share to show that I care. I'm proud to be a Hutchison student. Oh yeah. There are three ways you can spend your live school points. One, in your classroom reward store. Two, the school-wide store. Three, point goal incentives. Additional announcements. Live school point goal incentive. Make sure you return to school on December 2nd. If you met your 200 live school points goal, then you will participate in one of the fall fest stations on December 3rd during your specials time. You will choose one station on your card. It's time for the Winter Map Growth and Reading Fluency Assessment. Monday from December 2nd to the 13th, you will take the Reading and Math Map Growth. On Monday, December 9th until December 20th, you will take the Reading Fluency. Make sure you come to school each day by 7.45 a.m. Give your best on each day. School-wide incentives for Winter Map Growth. Pie in the face, January 2025, students in each grade level with the highest growth in reading, math, and science. Proficiency celebration with Miss St. Joy in December. Students who meet proficiency in reading and or math will join the celebration. Student choice on December 13th. Students who meet at least one growth goal will get two options, play in the gym or outside, or you can watch a TV show in the media center. Here are your stations for December 3rd. You have the option of going to movies with Miss M, active play with Coach Lewis and Mr. Rivers, or going to the arcade with Mr. Ashley. <laughs> Illustrated by Elisa Shabari. Once upon a modern time, a boy named Frederico left to buy ingredients to make the perfect pico. Cuidado! called his mama as he pedaled toward the shops. Mind the Buelo's grocery list and don't make other stops. Past the building's cars and cabs, young Frederico scurried until he reached the marketplace where people browsed unhurried. He filled the basket on his bike with romas, herbs, and limes, jalapenos, onions, and a peck of Anaheim's. He added garlic, pickles, bread, and other market goods, then pedaled through the city park and deep into the woods. A fallen branch had blocked the path, so Rico stopped his ride. With steady force, he pushed and budged the barrier aside. Hola, called Un Lobo, catching Rico unaware. I see you've packed a healthy lunch. You got some grub to spare? Sorry, Lobo, Rico said. I must be on my way. I have to be at Grandpa's shop by 12 o'clock today. Federico grabbed his bike and left the wolf behind. Little did he know the wolf had other plans in mind. La tienda was deserted. Rico listened, not a sound. The sign said closed, and what were those? Some paw prints on the ground? Federico peeked inside, alarmed by what he saw. A figure waved him over with a large and furry paw. 
Abuelo? Whispered Frederico, pulling off his hood. Yes, it's me, but I can't see. Come closer if you would. I, I think you need a shave. Your beard has grown so thick. You think so, said El Lobo. Steady grooming does the trick. Okay, Serico, let me see. I brought your favorite treats. Whole grain bread, a cabbage head, and a jar of pickled beets. El Lobo's nose began to twitch. Mi niño, here's the deal. Set those yucky things aside, and I'll make you my meal. He bounded from La Silla with a grunting, growling shout. But Rico tossed some chili powder straight into his snout. The wolf inhaled, he sniffed, he snuffed, he itched and twitched and wheezed. He tried to wipe his drippy nose, but ah, 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 sneezed. Federico ducked and dashed, then rummaged through his sack. Not so fast, you tasty tyke, I haven't had my snack. But Rico quickly plotted. When the wolf's mouth opened wide, he grabbed an abanero and jammed it deep inside. El Lobo gulped, he gagged and coughed. His ojos blazed bright red. Steam was puffing out his ears. I need to duck my head. He hurtled through, a, through La Puerta with a shrieking, gasping scream and dashed as fast as he could go toward the distant stream. Ayuda! cried Abuelo from inside a bolted box. Rico found him safe and snug in just his shorts and socks. Gracias! He scrambled out with shouts of pride and joy. I thought that wolf would do us in, but you prevailed, my boy! They cleared the mess and Gramps got dressed, then shared a bit of lunch. How about we make a sauce that packs a special punch? They chopped and diced, used lots of spice, and simmered sauce all night. Then bottled their concoction, Wolf's Bane Salsa, extra bite. The end. Let's remember to read our stories in Mayan, take our accelerator reader tests, and to record our minutes in Beanstack. There's no school next week due to Thanksgiving break. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving. Thank you for tuning in to the Hutchinson Morning News. Please have a great day.